So first, uh, Dravon Rinpoche would like to say um, thank you so much to Kinchin Rinpoche for um, coming here today and Tashi Dalit. Uh, Molamla, Dene, Tatanda, a co carsegorchita, a chung chung the riti in a young cojig, a complete do, tendicata, choto senary, gomba senary, tenage chumberis, tendi tiatine, jim kenchen kituchi, molam, a tendi in bikitine, marang, mobichirius. Um, and so it's uh, very auspicious uh, because um, Kinchin Rinpoche, uh, when this place was first purchased, like in the very beginning when the land was purchased, um, before right when we mo when um, you know there was the process of beginning to move in, on the very first day, Kenshin Rinpoche happened to be in town and he came here. Uh, and uh, Dravunla feels that you know it was also really due in large part to his um, blessings and uh, compassion and uh, aspiration prayer that. Uh, then there was this sort of auspicious um, interdependence that contributed to like the full um, development, you know, of this uh, place into, you know, a fully functioning Dharma center. Mm uh, and in the Drikun Kagyu, um, you know, the um, lineage founded by um, Lord Jigden Sumgan, um, there are different positions or titles um, that are most important, but mainly, you know, so for instance, like Kempo and Lopon and Chuji. Um, Mm -hmm. So they, they're primarily these three. Mm -hmm. That um Chuji Seyate, um, and so Chuji, um, which kind of comes directly from, you know, re referring to like Lord Jigden Sumgan, for instance. Um, he it, is Chuji, right? He was uh, Chuji. Um, and so that title is reserved for, say, for instance, like the two um, Drigun Kagyu uh, throne holders or Chamgan uh, Rinpoche's. Yeah, two holinesses. The two holinesses. Present. So, uh, uh, uh <coughs> Uh, and so that, but in the Drigun Kagyu, we have these different titles, but the most important, you know, apart from these two, um, you know, titles reserved for Chuji is Kenchen. Mm -hmm. So, so right now, Kenchen. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then there's a lop lopon, um, mm. which uh, doesn't need to go into too much detail, but that's a title that's kind of specific to administration, um, leading administration. Um, and so, so in any case, these are the, the three main titles um, being Kinchen, Lopon, and Chuji. Uh, and so, uh, Kinchen Nima Gyaltsen right now, you know, has become really um, widely known and renowned, um, you know, throughout I India. Um, and, uh, mm -hmm. And there are the so um, throughout India, or the they are they are the great um, scholars, you know, the six ornaments and the two supreme ones um, that are considered to be, you know, the pinnacle of um, great accomplishment and study and um, scholarly uh, qualities in India. So, for instance, uh, Nagarjuna, Asanga, Aryadeva. So, uh, oh, so those are the first three. Tiendu tine ta ngarang ke ji ti gabla ta jendong choni la so bat tindi deben kengjen kongro chong bi na. あ、だちごね、え、ジグジグペ、ね、ん、あら、けばるわ。あんどとんが、ちゃちゃんけだわ、てにじ。え、ごめえ、けじんどんちょうにらそばわ、だ、てけ、え、こてにじんちょんどわ
good karma. Uh, so we also, as well as we create more good karma. So everybody uh, enjoy uh, and uh, also uh, this kind of uh, his teaching will be rare. Uh, so today we receive things so everybody um, enjoy and appreciation for him. Thank you very much. Begin with the opening prayers in the prayer book. Oh, you can do it. Go ahead. <coughs> so once in English and once in Tibetan. All mother sentient beings, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and all knowingness, may they experience happiness and be separated from suffering. I will quickly establish them in the state of the most perfect and precious Buddhahood. <laughs> Thus, until I achieve enlightenment, I perform virtuous deeds with body, speech, and mind. Until death, I perform virtuous deeds with body, speech, and mind. From now until this time tomorrow, I perform virtuous deeds with body, speech, and mind. <laughs> sentient beings, limitless as the sky, take <coughs> refuge in the glorious kind Lama Vadradara, <coughs> the embodiment to the body, speech, mind, qualities, and activities of the Buddhas of the Ten Directions and the Three Times, source of the 84,000 categories of the teaching and Lord of the Sanghas. We take refuge in the kind root lama and lineage lamas. We take refuge in the deities of the mandalas of the yidams. We take refuge in all the exalted Buddhas. We take refuge in the perfect dharma. We take refuge in the excellent order of the sanghas. We take refuge in all the noble dakas, dakinis, and dharma guardians, possessors of the eye of wisdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Until I attain the heart of enlightenment, I take <laughs> refuge in all the Buddhas, I take refuge in the Dharma, and likewise in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. As the previous Buddhas embraced the enlightened mind and progressed on the Bodhisattva's path, I too, for the benefit of all sentient beings, give birth to Bodhicitta and apply myself to accomplish the stages of the path. In the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha most excellent, I take refuge until enlightenment is reached. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. May all mother sentient beings boundless as the sky have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be liberated from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they never be separated from the happiness which is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. Refuge of all sentient beings without exception, divine subjugator of terrifying Maras together with their hosts of demons, the one who understands all realities without exception exactly as they are, transcendent conqueror together with your disciples, please come here to this place. <laughs> The ground is 
is sprinkled with scented water and strewn with flowers. It is adorned with Meru, the supreme mountain, the four continents, and the sun and moon. As a Buddha field, I offer it. May all sentient beings attain the happiness of the Buddha fields. Whatever merit I have gathered through prostrations, offerings, confession, rejoicing, beseeching, and praying, for the sake of the enlightenment of all sentient beings, all this I dedicate. <laughs> Page 11. Namo to the Lama of utterly pure appearance and existence. I offer the fundamental ground of appearance and existence. I supplicate you to thoroughly liberate the three realms. Please grant your blessings and overturn the depths of samsara. Sublime master, wish fulfilling jewel, crown ornament, the inconceivable, inexpressible mind of the victorious ones, the one endowed with the five wisdoms of omniscience, gracious one, the embodiment of love, Precious protector of beings, I supplicate you from within the essence of mind. Please grant your blessings from within the innate nature. Please bless me that I may realize the dharmakaya that is beyond <coughs> intellect, this primordially unborn, completely pure mind, transcendent conqueror, the one thus gone, foe destroyer of afflictive emotions, completely perfected Buddha, endowed with logic and virtue, the one gone to bliss, knower of the world, captain, tamer of beings, the unexcelled teacher of gods and men, I respectfully prostrate, completely touching my head to the stainless feet of the unequaled Shaki King. At the time of your birth, leader of two-legged beings, taking seven steps on this great earth you proclaimed, I am supreme in this world. To you who are wise, even then I prostrate, <coughs> possessing a body of complete purity, your sublime form is excellent, an ocean of primordial wisdom, you are like a golden mountain, the one whose renown is evident throughout the three worlds, protector of supreme attainment, to you I prostrate, to you who are endowed with the supreme Mars, <coughs> whose face is like an immaculate moon, to you, the one with a complexion like gold, I prostrate. A flawless one such as you, among the three levels of existence, is most exquisite. Unparalleled omniscient one, to you I prostrate. Supreme among humans, captain of those to be tamed, the one thus gone who severs the all-binding fetters, who, with senses pacified, is utterly pacified and skilled in peace, to that one, the one who dwelled at Shravasti, I prostrate. 
refuge endowed with great compassion, totally omniscient one who indicates the way, ground basis for oceans of merit and qualities, I prostrate to the one thus gone, the pure cause free from attachments, the virtue that liberates from the lower realms, the altogether supreme ultimate truth, to the pacifying dharma I prostrate. Having been liberated, they also reveal the path to liberation. Thoroughly respectful of the three higher trainings, they are a field of sublime qualities. To the Sangha, I also prostrate. And then <clears throat> we can turn back to page nine. <laughs> I prostrate to the youthful Manjushri, to those in the worlds of the ten directions, however many there are, 
all the lions among humans appear during the three times to all of them without exception i pay homage with respectful body speech and mind the force of my aspiration prayer for excellent conduct brings all the victorious <coughs> ones directly to mind bowing down with bodies as numerous as atoms in the realms i prostrate to all the victorious ones in a single atom there are buddhas as numerous as atoms each residing in the midst of their sons and daughters like that i imagine the whole dharma dhatu completely filled with victorious ones to those with oceans of inexhaustible praiseworthy qualities with sounds containing oceans of tones of melodic speech I express the qualities of all the victorious ones. I praise all the sugatas with the finest flowers, the finest garlands, music, ointments, supreme parasols, supreme lamps, and the finest incense. I make offerings to the victorious ones with the finest cloths, supreme scents, and fine powders equal to Mount Meru, all displayed in supreme and magnificent ways. I make offerings to those victorious ones. With vast and unsurpassable offerings, I venerate all the victorious ones. Through the power of faith and excellent conduct, I prostrate and offer to the victorious ones. Whatever merit and actions I have performed with body, speech, and also mind, overpowered by desire, aggression, and stupidity, I confess each and every one of them. I rejoice in everyone's merit, the victorious ones of the ten directions, the bodhisattvas, the pratekya buddhas, those in training, those beyond training, and all beings. I request the protectors, the lamps of the worlds of the ten directions, who, passing through the stages of awakening, attain Buddhahood beyond attachment, to turn the unsurpassable Dharma wheel. I supplicate <coughs> with my palms joined together those who intend to demonstrate nirvana, to remain for kappas as numerous as atoms in the realms, for the welfare and happiness of all beings. I dedicate whatever slight virtue is accumulated through prostrating, offering, confessing, rejoicing, requesting, and supplicating to enlightenment. Page 16. Okay, page 16. <coughs> Please turn the wheel of the Dharma, of the two vehicles and their combination, according to the dispositions <coughs> and mental capacities of sentient beings.
So, I'm bringing to mind all mother sentient beings as vast as as space is vast, um, and with the wish um, to place all of them um, in the unsurpassed state of the complete um, and perfected fruition (coughs) of uh, fully perfect awakening or enlightenment, uh, then it's with this uh, motivation that we can uh, listen to the Dharma teachings with the intention to then uh, put it into practice. Um, so please listen first, uh, generating the precious mind of Bodhicitta. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, so today, um, at the request of um, Dravan Tinley Ningbo Rinpoche, um, Kenshin uh, Rinpoche will uh, give us some explanation or some teaching uh, to the best of his ability on um, the this um, abbreviated instructions for the Fivefold Path of Mahamudra by uh, Gyawang Rinchen Punso. Uh, Chaja <coughs> And so, uh, since you know this is uh, dealing with the fivefold path of Mahamudra, um, since there are you know you have um, others you know who you can receive these teachings from that have um, actually you know the qualities um, based on uh, having practice um, and so there uh, there is you know the opportunity to mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so he said, uh, you know, the fivefold path of Mahamudra is very profound. It's a very high level, and he himself um, doesn't, you know, is kind of at a lower level. He says so he doesn't know that he can really, um, you know, explain it all that well. But he will do his best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and, <coughs> but one thing he can be confident about um, are uh, the qualities of the great um, teachers that he has um, been able to receive instruction from. Um, that they they have really you know uh, realized the meaning through practice um, and have uh, profound levels of understanding. Um, and so he, having had the benefit of being in their presence, he really regards them to be like um, the Buddha in person. And so if there's anything that he can uh, share or help to explain, it is really due to their kindness. Mm-hmm. 
Ya tajang bola sano tama yina sanji jum dende. Tani tele te sa ta nyewa la sano tama yina. Tani ji telo naro bala soba ne. Tani tene ma ngan zo sano tama yina. Joban ji ting sung gyo ne zung de. Tani tande pardu. Tani lama koma nam ji. Tani ji ngadeng ki tunda ande pe nyam ne na ne. Tani toba jula chung. O tindre chene tene ma sung jaba tindre ji yimbare es. Um, and so uh, the the lineage um, that uh, this the, these pr- precious instructions of the fivefold path um, have been um, maintained or passed down through. Um, you know, we we can think all the way back uh, to the Buddha, um, but even closer, we have you know beginning, for instance, with uh, the great um, masters Tilopa, Naropa, Marpa, Milarepa. Um, Gampopa, Lord um, Pagmodruba, and Lord Jikdin Sumgan, all the way, you know, through um, the this the life force of the these instructions have been maintained in unbroken continuity um, through practice, you know, through um, uh, uh, this continuity of um, <coughs> practice that has been uh, maintained, you know, th- for, through a stream of great masters. Tene Chaja Chimbunga de Sayan Dilla, Tanam Junganzu, Ming Karipeju Tangurisana, Dugung Chaching Ade Saydo, Tatichitango, Ming Tatsurjire, Munechena, Sanje King Adenre, Sanje Jum Den de Song Jagi Chu, Tren Doda, Ah, Tetam Jagi, Himbu de Sur Dujavande, Chaja Chimbunga de Dutane, Detene. And so we um, we attribute, you know, this um, the fivefold path of Mahamudra um, to the Drigung Kagyu lineage that we refer to it as the Drigung um, fivefold path of Mahamudra, uh, but really, actually, it is the Buddha's fivefold path. Um, uh, because everything that is contained within um, the entirety of the Buddha's teachings, both Sutra and Tantra, um, like the essence of all of those is uh, subsumed uh, into uh, the fivefold path of Mahamudra. And so it is really the Buddha's fivefold path. <laughs> Um, but and then in particular, sort of the specifics of um, that are unique to this um, presentation of the fivefold path, um, which contains the essence of all the Buddha's teachings, um, was first kind of presented as such by Jetsun Milarepa. Karasana Jesu Malarebala Tene Kunregi Loma Nyama Lixembum Sayak Dom Loma Chivare Then Tegi Tanya Machilaya Shune Tene Sanjegi Chu Tsur Nyamne Chigdu Dine Nyamsu Lembayana Kandishna Nyamsu Lengu Res Tea Shudu Sane Tene Jesuangi Karasum Barasana Tomar Samchen Tamjela Ninji Gom Shows Ninji De Chanju Sang Tsawa Yimbare Tene that in the church, I read Jela, that you give us Saba Um, and so uh, it was when um, Jetsun Milarepa gave the instructions uh, to his um, disciple Lexi Boom um, that uh, one day uh, she asked, um, what is the um, way that I can practice 
um, you know, all of the Buddha's teachings um, kind of in one essence. Um, and so Milarepa told her, first, uh, you should meditate on great compassion, as this is the root um, of bodhicitta. Um, so, so generating compassion, then um, <coughs> develop, let it develop into bodhicitta, um, and then uh, generate yourself in the form of the Yidam deity, in the form of Chenrezig. Um, and then in order to swiftly connect with the blessings, um, you should visualize your uh, root guru at the crown of your head. Um, and then uh, as um, the real essence um, of all is the um, absolute nature of emptiness, uh, then you should uh, meditate for a time um, for, for a long while sustaining that recognition um, of the ultimate uh, nature of emptiness. Um, and then you should conclude by <coughs> um, dedicating all of the gathered roots of virtue um, so with, uh, finally, you should conclude with dedication. Um, and so this is really, um, in this is contained uh, all um, of the Buddha's uh, teachings, as the essence of all the Buddha's teachings are here, is here. Mm -hmm. Chia now, what did you do? Then it cheers out and drug a dance at the day. Then it's one And uh, likewise, Pagmo Drupa um, especially emphasized um, the, the practice of the fivefold path to Lord Jigden Sumgan. Um, and he said, you know, whatever. It, whatever you encounter, whatever your experience, whether pleasant or unpleasant or good or bad, uh, bring it on all onto the path of the five, um, f the, bring it all on into the practice of the fivefold path. Um, and until you reach the state of Buddhahood, you should never separate uh, from your practice of these five, the practice of the fivefold path. Uh, and so since this became um, such an important or um, especially was practiced and emphasized then by Lord Jigden Sumgan, uh, that is how then it became um, sort of unique to or a specific um, path of practice uh, unique to the Dragon Kagyu lineage. Mm -hmm. <coughs> ตะเจ๋ยามเลยยองสุจอบาละตะเนงาเดนกิฉับทุบะจิซอยาเตเคฉิงบอลาบอร์ดตะเนงาจุยกิฉาเชงยามเลยฉิงเกนจีนะงา
is common to all practices. Um, uh, so whoever, whoever um, you know, and whatever lineage or um, tradition of Buddhist practice, these um, five are there, they're present. And especially for those um, who practice in the Kagyu tradition, then um, the practices of the fivefold path should be part of that. Um, as uh, Chinga Sherib Jungne has said, um, Maha Mudra is like a lion, um, and the fivefold path um, are like the faculties, all of the sense faculties of the lion. Uh, and so it is very important that um, you know all of the faculties of the lion are complete in order for it to fully you know function. Uh, and so in this way, the fivefold or the five aspects of the fivefold path are so so, so crucial to the practice of Mahamudra as a whole. Um, and then not only for the traditions of Mahamudra or those um, practicing Mahamudra, but also those who practice Dzogchen. <coughs> um, in the Dzogchen tradition also, um, these five aspects are, are present. Uh, because uh, at first, in order to practice Dzogchen, you have to have the fo foundation first of bodhicitta. Um, there's also, you know, the training um, in the generation stage practices, the yidam deity. There's also the crucial reliance on the guru, the lama. Um, and then there is the view, the view of Dzogchen, you know, which is um, the, the ultimate view. Uh, and then there is the dedication. Also, there um, has to be the practice of dedication in this context as well. Um, and so regardless of whether it is Mahamudra or Dzogchen, really these five aspects of the fivefold path are naturally present. Mm -hmm. The <laughs> So, um, and so we shouldn't also think that, um, oh, we, we practice the fivefold path of Mahamudra because we are from the Drikun Kagyu lineage, or being a Drikun Kagyu practitioner, then that's why we practice the fivefold path. That's, that's actually a mistaken um, way of thinking. Um, or likewise, even thinking, oh, we practice the fivefold path because we're Buddhists, um, is also not the reason why we practice. Um, but really, you know, because we want to be free from suffering, um, because we want to um, develop, you know, peace and what are well-being and happiness. Um, so all sentient beings want to be happy. Everyone wants to be physically comfortable, mm -hmm. and they want to be inwardly um, happy and have a sense of well-being. Um, and so it's really with this objective um, that we mm -hmm. practice the fivefold path. Mm -hmm. Uh, Turning around, so that you don't hear Tamchegi, Yung Kung, don't hear getting in Jung Sandra Otela, Yamba Segerwa, the Yamba Tela, Jedampe, Yawa Mambo de Te, Surdoa in Nathan, Yamba, Ah, say, I see Yungi, Tin Dutane, Yamon, Nabote Pa, Trover Chevala, 
Um, so it's just like taking medicine. We don't take a particular medication, you know, where we don't take medicine because we're a male. We don't take medicine because we're a female. We take medicine because we want to recover from our illness. Um, so in the same way, um, we want to be free um, from, from suffering. Um, and we want to um, achieve um, happiness or have happiness and well-being. Uh, and so it's with this, um, you know, in this way that we apply um, the practices of the fivefold path, which are actually the antidotes, serve as direct antidotes to the afflictive emotions. Um, so we have all of these, um, the afflictive <coughs> emotions being really the source or the cause of suffering. Um, there are so many different varieties of afflicted mind states, um, but they all can be subsumed into primarily five. Um, and so it is um, to become free from or liberated from these five root afflictions um, that we uh, practice the fivefold path. Uh, yeah, and so uh, mainly, for instance, the afflictive emotion of anger, um, if anger is present in the mind stream, then everything is colored by this. There is no um, happiness. You know, one is unhappy as long as there is anger present, um, both in a temporary sense and also in an ultimate, um, it brings temporary and ultimate um, lack of well-being um, or unhappiness. Um, and so the first of the fivefold path, which is uh, meditating on love, compassion, and bodhicitta, is the direct antidote, um, or it is ser this serves to pacify primarily the afflicted mind state of anger. <coughs> <coughs> Jingi Ranzo uh, so then uh, there's also the affliction of jealousy. Um, and so this is when we see the qualities of others and we don't like that. Um, we don't like it when others have um, qualities or um, benefits or success. Um, it makes us um, unhappy. Uh, so when we have jealousy, then this makes it, the mind unhappy. Uh, but the antidote to jealousy is meditating on the Yidam deity. And how is this the case? Because um, in practicing secret mantra, um, we recognize that everyone, um, all beings in fact, oneself and others, um, even humans and animals, um, everybody has at their core or as their essence the Buddha nature. 
Um, and that being the case, actually everybody is um, an emanation of male and female deities. Uh, and so when we practice the generation stage in um, the context of secret mantra, um, then this naturally serves to pacify jealousy um, because we see kind of the fundamental sameness um, and all of the perfected qualities um, as the essence you know, of the minds of all beings, oneself and others equally. Um, and also because uh, in recognizing our own essence, we see that it is actually unstained by any fault. And so pre jealousy is not even present. There is no jealousy there when, when recognizing um, that, that intrinsic essence, which is the Buddha <coughs> nature. Um, and so this is the way in which uh, the yit practice of the Yidam deity serves to pacify jealousy. Oh, Nyamba <laughs> Namto and Dramanda tend their tamche, the lame to ye shiggy ranging. Or tendechic than a toss one in them. Then a young Najeje say you or Meva in Batten, Trondo Rua, or tende in the Zanet and Najeg in Nimbola, or tene lamen and your gumbas, or tendition as only your race. And then there is the affliction of arrogance or pride. Um, and so this is when we get. Um, you know, kind of uh, enchanted with our own qualities. Um, so either um, it is, you know, thinking, uh, get it becoming prideful about our own qualities or thinking that we are somehow better than or superior to others. And then based on that, then we look down on others, we um, denigrate them, disparage them, look down on others thinking that we're better. Um, and so the, the, what serves uh, to purify this afflictive emotion in particular is the practice of guru yoga. Um, and so um, when we practice guru, guru yoga, the way that this occurs is that um, through the practice, we start to see all appearances or all phenomena um, to be an expression of the guru's form, to all be essentially like appearances of the, of the guru um, that, that are in nature, the essence of the guru or the guru's form. Um, and so um, all uh, appearances uh, become the, day the guru's enlightened form, all sound um, becomes the guru's enlightened speech, and and all inner arisings or um, mental proliferation or discursive thought uh, becomes the primordial awareness, um, the expression of um, the primordial awareness of the guru. Um, and so then when that it, nature is realized or understood, then it naturally serves to pacify pride. Um, so this is the way in which guru yoga um, is the direct antidote to the afflictive emotion of arrogance or pride. Tene, <laughs> Ah, 
ทรีเวงกะปานนั่นสงวยยินบาจิตะเนสมขอรังกะทอลาจิกสามนตานะจิกเจยินตุซานะสมยิเมจาวะตันทารวะเอาทินเดกะรังจิยินบาจิตเอ
tenen ngowa tar chimba tela te dewa chimbu ko songe pena ngowe ki pa pangja de de chare de cha ki ngowo te pa thor songa ina te dewa chimbu ran chin re tende indu chane tene ko ngaba dewa chimbu ko sana songe bir tende indu chane jing ngam song ngade sana thanga nga songo ya tela yang tene jum sen tende chi yu sare je ko su nyomo ba nga yu du Tepa jomar cheba ki nyembo la chaja chembo lam nga. Lam nga ki nyamlein thar chen yu diu chane ndewu ku nga ngundu njurju yu ba yin chan. Tene nga 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 sa ni peche sumba yin sa re sam sandu. Nga ho tenre re. And so since uh, we are ordinary beings, then we have um, the ongoing experience of the arising of the various afflictions of the um, the five uh, afflicted mind states. And the fivefold path of Mahamudra, each of these five is like serving as the antidote to those five afflictions. And then the result of liberating those five afflictions are the fruitions of the five kayas. Um, so the full manifestation or ripening of the five kayas of Buddhahood. Um, and so the practice of Bodhicitta leads to the fruition of the Nirmanakaya. Uh, the practice of the Yidam deity leads to the fruition of the Sambhogakaya. The practice of Guru Yoga leads to the fruition of the Svabhavikakaya. Um, the practice of Mahamudra leads to the fruition of the Dharmakaya of Buddhahood. Um, the practice of dedication leads to the kaya of great bliss, what is referred to as the kaya of great bliss, or maybe mahasuka kaya. Um, and so that, um, in, and these are related to this um, function of purifying the affliction. So as the affliction of desire is purified, um, the result of that, that the wisdom of, of desire or the purified nature of desire is great bliss. Um, so that is the way in which um, it becomes the kaya <coughs> of great bliss. Um, and so this is why we have the five, the reason why there are five is because there are these five root afflictions. So the five of the fivefold path is primarily to serve as a uh, to counteract the five afflictions. Um, and as these five afflictions are counteracted, as they are purified or liberated, um, the end result of that becomes the full manifestation of these five kayas. Then的 and so there's also um, a prayer or a kind of praise that um, His Holiness um, Rikung Kyagan Chetsang Rinpoche um, the wish-fulfilling jewel of our lineage, the 37th throne holder, um, has composed in which he explains um, the specific um, qualities or um, sort of special attributes um, of the fivefold path. Um, it, it, listing them as five. And it isn't that they are, each one is connected to each of the five, um, but there are these kind of five special attributes as a whole um, that uh, correspond to or that embody um, or explain kind of the benefits of or qualities of the fivefold path of Mahamudra in general. Um, and so he begins by saying that the first of these um, is 
that uh, it is rooted in the scriptures of Sutra and Tantra. So it isn't that that the fivefold path of Mahamudra was like newly created or spoken of or taught by Lord Jigden Sumgan, but that actually it is there, um, you know, it comes directly from the Buddha and is present um, in the scriptures um, of Sutra and Tantra. Chajachimbugging, <laughs> Uh, and then the <coughs> second qual quality um, or special attribute that is mentioned is that it is established in reasoning through the power of the way things truly are. Um, so meaning that uh, this, these, the meaning of Mahamudra and the fivefold path um, is really endowed with a reason based on direct experience and the true um, reality with regard to you know how things actually are um, it isn't based on fantasy it isn't something that's kind of arisen out of myth or tales um, you know there are all of these different kind of uh, for instance, stories, fantasies, or myths. Um, for instance, in the Tibetan culture, surely we have many of these in the Western culture as well. Um, but that this is not, um, these fivefold path of Mahamudra is not um, kind of arisen out of myth or fantasy, but actually through direct uh, experience based on how things actually are. Mm -hmm. Tene <coughs> Then Sangha Dorji Tegwegi Chu, Taji Jerem Tan Zorum La Sobe, Nenga Mambu, Jitsu Dam Shabati, Tin Chaja Chimbo, Nadin de Imbares, or Tindu, Tendregi Chichu Dan Demba. And so the next uh, thing that he says is that um, this fivefold path of Mahamudra is like um, the twine. Um, the precious twine that binds together all the class classifications of Vajrayana, or all the categories of the Vajra vehicle. vehicle. Um, and so um, all of the Buddhas, um, all of the Buddha Dharma, all of the Buddha's teachings of Sutra and Tantra, um, uh, like, and um, sort of the highest kind of uh, expression of this are, is that which we find in um, the Vajrayana. Uh, and so the, when practicing the fivefold path of Mahamudra, there is nothing that is left out um, within all of the different aspects of the generation stage and completion stage practices. Um, everything is there, everything is complete um, if one practices the fivefold path of Mahamudra. Um, and so in that way, the fivefold path of, the, of Mahamudra is like the precious um, 
twine or sort of rope um, that binds all of the Vajrayana together. Um, meaning, so, so the example that's given here in saying twine is that, you know, it's like a, a rope that, that takes many different pieces or sticks, say, if you have a lot of different sticks or pieces of wood, and then you tie them together with a single rope, then it's kind of like they're all there contained together. And so that's the <coughs> meaning here is that in practicing the fivefold path, um, the entirety of the secret mantra Vajrayana is complete or present all of the various classifications <coughs> and different practices of generation and completion stage yogas. Then in Jiba Dela, Menga Nyue Jimba Sumbar, Menga Nyue Jimba Sundisane, Tanga Dingi, Tun, Denzo, Yagitani, Sanjine, Zongde, Tanda, then around so that in Jinsawe Lame Pardu, Lame Lomala, Menga She. Lome menga nyamsulane topa jule che tendeci ne sono già 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 in bari la parte in città sono quando ho chiesto in città sono quando sono dove ne è tanta parte che casi di sieva in ayang nyam nyam ma in be chi chi ame sono bari tendu casi di già cembo casi di teng sabo sono bari in ayang ci tagazza sanje che ganjuro tenzo su tane tene ganjuro nana yube ting re si già già va già ma in bari Ganjur nang la sung be ki tuyen tham che la me tene pamo juba la so be ki la ma ten zu sung je be ki me nga ten zu tham che te nyam le nang to ba ju la che o ba ten re re te indu sa ne ka ju ki tene che luk sur sa nang ra ka ju ki ju ba la lo ma te ki la me sung be ki tsik te la me sung ba nang jin xe na yang yao shu re ma xe na yang ke yo ma re So we can say, let me talk about it, talk about it, you let you watch it, or so you're the Kaju Bandro Gina, you are talk about the catch of the year. Sick day, young, good chicken, or this Maggie, Kagan, they say, you're done with on a distance in Jurati, silver, what? But turn you to an injury, my watch it. La make a count, tobate, Loma can, the dog, you're it. Loma take a count, tobate, young Lubitans, you can go dog, you're the nation of Martha, and drove a Jubati in Dusane, then in Jibati. Menga nyonge jemba saya tere. Um, and so then the the next um or the fourth is that uh it is an ornament arisen from experience and pith instruction. So it's an ornament of uh, experience and pith instruction, meaning that um that it is arisen, you know, based on um, pith instruction and direct experience. So the, the fivefold, um, the meaning of the fivefold path um, is really that which is directly realized. So from um, the time of the Buddha, you know, all the way up to the present kind root uh, Lama, um, all the, this continuity of realization has been maintained um, based on this teacher-disciple relationship. So the Lama, the explanations of the teacher, the Lama, um, and, the, and the student then listens, and based on that, uh, first you have to have the, that the Lama has di realization in their own mind stream, and then based on um, uh, the Lama's instruction, then the student is able to give rise to realization in their mi mind stream, and then they are able to likewise then pass it, you know, to their students. Um, and so Lord Jigden Sumgun has said that out of everything that he has taught, he said uh, uh, everything that he, he teaches, um, there is none of it um, that is not based on his own experience. So everything that he teaches is something that he has direct experience of. Um, and so um, however profound, um, it is, you know, of all of his instructions, we know then that they are rooted in or based on his direct experience. It isn't that he, for instance, read 
the conger and um, took certain things, you know, from you know the 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 te Buddhist teachings, for instance, and then sort of reiterated them in his own or, or re-stated um, them in his own words. But that it's just based on you know intellectual understanding. It's it's actually that he had. Um, stated that he had direct experience of everything that he taught, um, and that through the, through his understanding of the Buddha's teachings, and then based on his own direct experience and the pith instructions of Pagmodrupa, um, and putting them into practice, um, then uh, he was able to give rise to real, um, authentic realization in his own mind stream, um, and so this is uh, how. Uh, this is how this works. If, so for instance, it isn't just that um, the teacher teaches, um, explains things verbally or through words, um, and then there's understanding that is received there through the words, but actually there's a transmission of experience or realization that occurs, and this is what is most important. Um, and so, <coughs> And so um, whatever it is that the Lama has realized um, then should also arise um, or be develop in the mind stream of the students, of the disciples. Um, and then they also likewise are able to pass their understanding and realization onto others. Dig some, yeah. Okay. Yeah. ตะเนเทนาชิงงอบะเตฉินลับเกจังกะเจวะสงดวะตะฉินลับเจวะตะฉินลับเจวะสงดุจานะเจตังงาจุตะเนนัมจุนฉินลับฉินลับเสดุจ
um, blessing pills or things that are have like substances of blessing. Sometimes we wear um, different uh, blessing cords or blessing um, kind of uh, um, ornaments or, or different um, like physical things that we can wear that possess blessing. Um, but what blessing really means is experiencing a transformation in the mind. So when we experience blessing, there is um, something inwardly that is experienced, that, the, that there's a transformation that occurs within. Um, and so we can do, you know, different practices externally, um, dharma practices, reciting mantra, um, and assuming, you know, the different um, kind of um, behaviors or um, rituals of practice. Um, but if we just um, practice the dharma in a way that is really just through the doors of body and speech, and it doesn't bring about a real transformation in the mind, um, then it is difficult, you know, to really, like we can't, you know, then like our practice isn't really maybe <coughs> so genuine, but what really signifies genuine practice is when there is um, a real a transformation inwardly that occurs, that it brings about a change inwardly. Um, and so this is here what he is saying that um, the fivefold path of Mahamudra does um, through its great potency of blessing that there is um, you know the the inward experience of transformation um, just you know through through this this practice um, so we have the three categories of study contemplation and meditation so when um, we study uh, then there the the tupa lagare swinging Tubay and so um, when it comes to study, um, so there, there is an immediately a feeling of understanding or comprehension um, that occurs. Um, so as in the process of study, there's a feeling of like, oh, I got it. I really understand. Um, so sometimes, for instance, with certain Dharma texts, it might be you know, that, that you read a lot, but you're sort of not quite getting the meaning. Um, but here, with the Fivefold Path of Mahamudra, it is like comprehension immediately um, arises, like there's a feeling of comprehension or understanding that occurs. Um, and then with a contemplation in the mind, there's like even a deeper level of um, experience in the mind that happens based on um, on contemplation. And then with meditation, then there's actual realization that occurs, that, that develops. Um, and so in this way, um, the, the, the three stages of study, contemplation, and meditation are especially powerful and accessible. And it isn't that it's like over a long period of time. Sometimes we think of these three in terms of like stages that happen gradually over time. Um, but here it is actually that these um, three um, kind of can happen very quickly or almost like all together, all at once, based on the power of the blessings. Um, so it's like, for instance, the example that Kenshin Rinpoche gave is in Japan, um, they, they eat wasabi, you know, with sushi. Um, and then when you taste that wasabi, there's a very strong potency that you instantaneously, you know, feel in your whole body. Um, and so this is what, like, the potency of a blessing contained in the practice of the fivefold path of Mahamudra. Mm -hmm. oh, Tibachi 
ти ба чим бута чун чи бар чи гуре сон ле ти инди тани та дан де тан ганзу сам сам дис сам тан ре ва пе ча тан зон ла тан де ши гире ганзу сам нан де тан гире чан чу бе сэм чик жу ле че цана ти тене зон де тане пе чо зу ни ши цап ши ча сан ганзу ти ба чим бу ин сам де ре ва ти те с гале ка бу ин са ре ти инди чан чу бе сэм ка дю че на ти ти ба чим бу ре та а ниме кона чанчу ге сэм чена чура ниме кона чанчу ге сэм ба чаду юре ти ба чим буре чура тене цэна чанчу ге сэм жуле че ду юна цэна чанчу сэм баре о тене ре та кесэ чура тене чи чанчу ге сэм жэмпэн ге лон ро чи сам ло тепа ни ба ням не та ңараң ца чим бу цэ бе сам ло че ба ян ти че ма ре ти ин ди цане та ти ба чим бу дан чун чун се я чун чун се ке че ма ре ти ба тумун се я ти зо сам ло ча че чун че ге тоне ти ба че чун се на сун ге ро о тенде инду та ти ба чим бу ги тене ням ле там че ге ца ва те тене чан чу ге сам ин ба ре а ти инду а тене ди сун до нам че ган су тене ду я тан ду я ги чу де ти че ин ба ги пен ге ма ре ган су де са де ти че ге ла хан ги ба та ву че на пен ге ма ре та цо го кар го са на на цо ти ба че ба ин ба че го ре сон ре та на ара цо ти ба че ба ин ба че ка са ти ба че ба ин ба че го ре сон го ре та на ара цо ти ба че ба ин ба ка са ти ба че ба ин ба де ка де че го ре са на те та на де не на де ге на ги тан бо на на че ан че го сам сон го да ба та на де не ге сам че су су ю ле че ба ин на че ан че го сам ба ти ба че бо о ти не че ре до ю ре ти ин ди ца на е ти че ге ням не там че ге ца ва де чан чу ге сам ин ди ца на е тин де не жим ба тан бо де та чан чу ге сам сун ба ре And so uh, then these are the five uh, special attributes um, or qualities attributed to the fivefold path of Mahamudra. Um, and uh, that being said, so then we have the first um, of the fivefold path is bodhicitta. Um, and so this is at the beginning um, because it really establishes um, the rest of the practices um, as you know Mahayana level uh, practices or that of um, uh, then our practice becomes practice of the great vehicle. Um, so as Lord Jigden Sumgan says in the Gongchik, um, the difference between the greater and lesser vehicles or that which distinguishes um, the great vehicle from the lesser vehicle or Mahayana from Hinayana is the presence or absence of bodhicitta. So bodhicitta is the only factor in the difference. Um, and so uh, it doesn't... Um, uh, you know, so for instance, and also what this indicates is that whenever bodhicitta is present, um, then one becomes a Mahayana level practitioner, or what one becomes a bodhisattva. Um, that it is it, that that is dependent upon um, bodhicitta actively being present in the mind stream. So, if, for instance, you're reading scripture and then you generate bodhicitta, then to have that, you know, in your mind stream, maybe for 24 hours a day, is difficult. But whenever the mind of bodhicitta arises in that moment. Um, we become Mahayana level practitioners, we become bodhisattvas. Um, so if we have a bodhicitta in our mind in the morning, you know, then we are a bodhisattva in the morning. Um, if we have bodhicitta in the mind at night, um, then we become a, a practitioner of the great vehicle or bodhisattva at night. Um, and so on the other hand, whenever that bodhicitta declines, um, when we're no longer, you know, or in moments when we're really not so focused on the welfare or benefit of others, um, and we're kind of considering um, ourselves to be most important, um, or we think that we're really, you know, something special or important, um, in those moments, then that we have lost um, bodhicitta, or we're not actually a practitioners of the great vehicle in, that, in those moments. Um, so it's really more of a momentary thing. It's not something that is actually actually like a kind of this is the way it is. It really has to do with what is present in the mind in the moment. Um, and so whenever there is a vast intention present in the mind, 
um, th based on bodhicitta, then this <coughs> really is the root um, of all Mahayana practice. Um, and so, um, and so it is said that, you know, actually it's not dependent on the Dharma itself. So like whatever it is that we are practicing, um, even if it is like the most profound, um, you know, Dharma of uh, the Mahayana Dharma, that isn't of any benefit if we ourselves don't have a Mahayana mind state. Um, if we're practicing in a place that is, for instance, a Mahayana temple, um, or, you know, in the place that we're living and practicing, if that's, um, you know, a place of Mahayana practice, that isn't of any benefit if we don't have that in our, you know, as our mind state, if we don't have bodhicitta present. What determines whether our practice is really Mahayana level practice or not um, it has to do with ourselves. So it is um, the individual, it is based on the individual or the mind of the individual, the practitioner, that determines um, the vastness of the, of the practice, meaning of the, uh, whether it is really Mahayana level practice or not. Um, and so it's for this reason then that this becomes the first of the fivefold path of Mahamudra um, that we practice bodhicitta so that it really arises in our mind stream um, because then that becomes the basis or the root um, for all of the other practices. Then with bodhicitta present, that all of the other aspects of the practice go on to the path of or become the nature of, of Mahayana level practice. Then then I say, then the Tomar Benata, the Chanju son and Yamne, Chenkin Chicken, when it touches some down in them, then a non so that Kadu in a Tiwachin Buyin, some they were Chibuma in Barua. Then you might in a lap Tiwachin Bu to Chuka as a child to Tata great Pekachin Bure. Not to see Tiwachin Bu child do it. Yana, you much has on Tiwachin Bure in the Yana message has an anti watching which I can do it at the source of Tabu Shiva. Mado Chilone and Zupa O Chu Tibachi Mure, Sandro, Tendeji, and the Yungu Mara, Tin Dutane, then it's so cars and a chee, Tondan dinner so in the one dinner, Pecha Coranala, Major Nam Canyon Bay, Sim Jenna, Dunga Jujeter, Ninjetan, Devon Punso Tang, the Chambrace, Lame Chanju Tom Du, Mun Sam Tang, Sena Sondoa. Tambote. That Tiba Chimbu Jicha Guyana, the Mantala, that in Jig Logi, Jigo Yurta. Chusu Jigle Jevayana, Chusu Jig Tiba Chimbure, Yaman Ying and the Dig Logi Jingdon, Yaman Ying and Tiba Chimbure, Message Hassan and the Dig Logi Jetuguna, Message Hassan and Tiba Chimbure, Tende in Dutane, Tene, or Carson and Denema Sung Javate, Tanganzo Ji Chuin Yang and Chesa Dutane, Su Tayareta. Then I saw Javateda, Naranga Samotani, Tungundu de Mundo Taya Terua, then Tumberji Chevatela, then a chunyan cheva, Segura, or ten day in Dutane, or ten days in a ten drugo res, tissue to the Nishologa Tambo Tegi, Tomar Semjan Tamjela, Ninji gum. Then a chamba gum. Then a ten day chamba than Ninji needn't drive a ton, eh? Or does Semjan Tamje Sanjigi compound top to watch it chigi, some bay. Then a member chant you with the Gongo race and that is only weird. Sholo Tambo Tegi Chatang 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 Sholo Gachi Loy. Chatang did a Sholo Gachi Dang, Sigan Nidawa, Sig Trugdawa, that in the Sholo Gachi Tegi, then a member some Jetang, then a Ninjeta, Chamba Tisum Zo Sundawa. So Monsem Dang, Monsem Tang, Stepat. Um, and so, so it is. Um, so at the beginning, when practicing bodhicitta, um, it is important to really observe what um, is present in our mind on a momentary basis, in terms of whether these qualities of love, compassion, and bodhicitta are present. Um, so if we we don't just think, you know, oh, I am a practitioner of the Mahayana vehicle, and that's it. You know, I'm a Mahayana level practitioner. Um, actually, that's not how it works. Um, we have to look and see on, you know, an hourly or momentary basis, you know, what 
what is really the attitude in, in the mind? Is bodhicitta present or not? Um, is it in my mind for an hour? Is it in my mind for a whole day? Is it in my mind for my whole life? Um, and so that is really the way to determine, you know, at what level we are practicing. Um, and so, um, uh, it isn't uh, it isn't something that we can sort of de de make a decision about or experience once and then think that um, that applies to all of our experience. Um, but uh, as it says here in the root text, um, so the first section being bodhicitta, we cultivate compassion for all mother sentient beings equal to space, wanting them to be freed from suffering and its causes. We cultivate love, wanting them to be happy and have excellent abundance. Um, we, so this is the, the first, um, you know, first we develop the um, mind state of compassion, um, and then we develop the mind state of love, um, and then the kind of unification of these two as bodhicitta, we cultivate the mind of aspiration that they attain unsurpassed enlightenment. Um, then that becomes the aspiration bodhicitta. Um, and so, can you cheat a lot, Nina? ま、ちょっと、すみません。だって、ね、で、よ、ほら。で、せん、ま、で、ラムゴンジュパチェ、そんだわ。だって、そんで、じゃね、すみません、たんじゃ、三時ゲ、こんばん、とばるんでべ。
during you know the main section of the practice which is mahamudra because mahamudra itself um, is the nature of ultimate bodhicitta and so that is kind of the assumed um, kind of a way of, of uh, or assumed approach is that that is something that comes later but here actually um gyawang rinchen punsol says that um he states it specifically here and this is really <coughs> important and unique um and and really um uh pertinent in its meaning because um at below or after bodhicitta after bodhicitta we practice the yidam deity um, and so the yidam in order for the yidam deity to arise we have to um, kind of purify or set the foundation of all um, kind of dissolving all impure phenomena into emptiness and we have to begin from the state of emptiness it is out of emptiness that the deity arises um, and so first in establishing you know the ground of emptiness then the deity can arise uh, clearly but without that if we're not beginning from ultimate bodhicitta if we're not uh, beginning from that basis of emptiness then it's difficult for the purity true purity of the de deity to arise for for to arise vividly you know in the form of pure form of the deity so um here this is why um it is mentioned prior to the yidam deity and is actually a really important um kind of step in the process um, and then when from that basis of ultimate bodhicitta the deity can clearly appear the deity itself is the expression of or the essence of um, bodhicitta, ultimate bodhicitta oh yeah that thing do taking on the cousin nothing that i'm go chan chuk is some door diva what in the chi chao swam the pitching on the two two in the uh, and so this thing completes this morning um, sec uh, section. So we have gotten through then the first of the fivefold path of Mahamudra, which is uh, Bodhicitta. Short dedication. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the dedication on page 24 of the prayer book. bottom of the page by the virtues collected in the three times by myself and all beings in samsara and nirvana and by the innate root of virtue may i and all beings quickly attain unsurpassed perfect complete precious enlightenment may the teachings of the great drigumpa ratna shri who is omniscient lord of the dharma master of interdependence continue and increase through study practice contemplation and meditation until the end of samsara thank you kenya Rambuche, and thank you everybody and then I'll see you at two o'clock thank you Okay, great. Thank you, everybody. If I could just have your attention for a couple of minutes. It's so wonderful to see this room filled up with all, uh, all my fr all friends and uh, uh, 
practitioners here of Jordan Nor Chang Chabling, and um, we continue to have so many blessings here with lamas coming through from His Eminence Tritsap Rinpoche to now Kenchen Rinpoche. And we received news recently that His Holiness Chetseng Rinpoche is going to be visiting Jung Nor Chang Chabling in January, uh, January 27th and 28th, actually. He's going to be giving a Havadra empowerment, and we're going to be having a picnic. And so all these blessings are just coming to, to Wesley Chapel in Florida, um, thanks to the hard work, thanks to the donations, thanks to the aspirations of many people. And uh, I just want to give thanks to everyone for that. And also, um, if you haven't registered for the teachings, please see Melanie. And if you ever feel inspired um, to give a donation through your efforts, through, uh, through monetary means, through whatever it might be, please, uh, please do so, because that's how these walls keep standing. I mean, really, it's through people's hard work. It's through everyone here as a volunteer. Um, everyone here is donating their time and their energy from Drupan to Virginia um, to Dorje, who works tirelessly to keep these grounds clean, to keep the, to keep the, the buildings clean. So thanks to Claudia, for who cleans the shrine room every month. Um, and thanks to everybody, really, that keeps this, uh, keeps this center running. Um, so whether you want to donate your time, your energy, uh, some funds, whatever you have to give, because when you make a donation, you also make a, a, a connection to the Dharma Center um, and to the lineage. So thank you very, very much. We're going to return at 2 o'clock uh, to resume the teachings, and then Kenshin will uh, finish the teachings tomorrow at 10 a.m., uh, uh, 10 to 12. So thank you all very, very much. Virginia, just, is there anything you wanted to mention? No, thank you.